Okay, I'm just gonna pray that this is in focus the whole time. If we're out of focus, um, I apologize. <laughs> Hi, hello. Um, it has been a while since I've last uploaded a video, filmed a video, all of that in general, and um, a lot has happened in the world um, and in my life personally, and um, today we're gonna talk about some of that. Um, before I get into it, I want to let you know that I will leave some links in the description box below on ways that you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. There's a particular um, website that's been going around that I still think is the most comprehensive in different resources. I'm also going to leave a link to a Google Doc that I have found particularly helpful of anti-racism resources, and a lot of these resources are providing historical context um, for everything that's going on right now and systemic racism in the United States and in other countries um, as well. If you are confused about what's going on right now or if you just want to be more informed and educated, which I think we should all strive to be, um, I would highly recommend checking out those resources. If you're someone that likes to listen to audiobooks, I would recommend checking out OneDrive. It is a online resource where you can access um, books and audiobooks from your local library. So all you need is a library card to access it. Sometimes you do have to wait a little bit to get those resources because they only have a limited number of licenses, I think, um, to lend those out. But it's a really great resource if you're wanting to check out some books and things like that. Um, I love audiobooks and I'm trying to find different methods of using that besides Audible. Um, if you have any other recommendations, please link them below. So. The premise of today's video is really just that it has been a long time since I have sat down and really just played with makeup for the fun of it, of just having fun with makeup, which is something that I used to do a lot and I don't really feel like I have done in a long time. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, you may have noticed that I'm in a new space. I have moved um, and I'm in my like living room right now essentially. I don't think that this is going to be a permanent setup. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I just have a bunch of makeup in front of me and I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna put on my little headband. Okay, um, I'm gonna put on a little bit of eye primer. Um, like I said, in my own personal life, um, I have moved and, um, I'm in a new space so I don't have, like, a dedicated studio anymore so I don't know exactly what my filming setup is going to be, if it's going to be something like this, um, which I actually don't hate. Let me know what you guys think. It is a little bit bright. Um, all I have is natural light right now, but it's whatever. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a semi-permanent or permanent setup. I'm not sure. So the other thing that happened was I graduated from college. So I now have a bachelor's degree in media and communications, which is cool. Um, getting my bachelor's is something that I've... Ooh, dog. <laughs> I think it's the neighbor's dogs. Oh, they're gonna look at me weird when they walk by. Oh well. Anyway, getting my bachelor's is something that I have wanted to do for a really long time. So I'm glad that I was able to do that. Um, so now I'm looking out applying for jobs and all that stuff. I also have started doing some makeup services again, um, obviously with a lot of other precautions um, to try to be as sanitary as possible, obviously wearing my mask at all times. If you're not wearing your mask, when you go in public, what are you doing? So, um, so yeah, so I've done a couple of weddings. A lot of people are obviously not able to have their like, um, full-blown wedding that they had planned, but they are doing a much smaller wedding or they're rescheduling till next year or they're doing both. So I've been doing some very, very small weddings here and there, obviously not as much as I had planned on doing. We are also thinking about getting a dog. It's in the works. So we've been house sitting professionally for a couple years, which is why we weren't getting a dog of our own, um, but nobody's traveling right now. Um, so, we figured it might be a good time to transition and doing that, but it's proven a little bit difficult, honestly, because, it, well, there's a lot less dogs in shelters now, I think, which is amazing, um, because they're getting adopted, and I hope 
they stay in those homes because people are at home more now so they're adopting dogs because they can be there for that like transitionary period. Yeah, but just finding the right dog for our home um, I think is going to probably be a long process, especially since we can't like go to a shelter right now. We're just kind of looking at pictures online and then getting, you know, emailing, getting more information and stuff like that. And obviously we want to make sure that the dog gets the best home possible too. So we have been going through that process and we'll see how it ends up. I'm pulling out a really old favorite, by the way, for my palette today. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Um, this is such a good palette, honestly. I know they've come out with a bunch after this one, which honestly I don't, haven't really been interested in, but their original Zodiac palette is very nice. I think I might go for something purpley today. I'm not sure. So I guess the other thing that is relevant is the whole Jeffrey, Shane, Tati scandal, I guess, um, situation that's happening. No one asked for my opinion, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Here's the thing. I have always thought Jeffrey uh, was frankly not a good person. Um, he has been incredibly racist and misogynistic and just generally seems like a shit person, if I'm being honest. And I don't understand the amount of support that he has gotten over the years and the amount of support that it seems he is continuing to get from some people. There are some people that I know who have been Jeffrey fans up until this point who are denouncing his behavior, but it does feel like a little bit late at this point. In terms of Shane, so I remember watching Shane Dawson in like middle school and I think at the time I didn't realize just how problematic a lot of his content was and how racially coded a lot of it was um, that I now recognize as being incredibly problematic and racist. Um, and, of course, the shit about sexualizing children that has come out, um, that I hadn't seen before, um, is truly just disgusting. And I think it's telling that while Shane immediately reacted to Tati's video, um, he has said nothing to the Smiths who are calling him out, um, because of that video and he has said nothing to apologize for that video and I think that's incredibly telling honestly and I think that you know his track record of not only the controversial and problematic videos he's done in his past but also this sort of seeming desire to redeem incredibly problematic people it shows I think a lot of character flaw We'll, we'll put it that way. And I think my other issue with this whole situation, which I think kind of it got turned into this after Tati's video was sort of chalking this all up to drama or like more beauty drama, da 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 da. And here's the thing, I, I think that everything happening right now, um, I mean, frankly, first has very little to do with the beauty communi community and the beauty community as a whole, you know, obviously except for the individuals who are involved in this community. And I think that, so I saw, I think it was, I think it was a Hank Green <laughs> TikTok that I saw where he said, there is an issue with conflating interpersonal drama with actual harm being done. And I think that that is, a good way to put it and not just harm being done because obviously in any drama there usually is harm being done on an individual scale but 
harm being done on a broader scale. When you're talking about issues of racism and pedophilia and misogyny, you are not just talking about single in individuals. These are massive issues. Perpetuating these issues is incredibly harmful to many people. Many people that have been victims of these issues and it allows the systems that support these issues to continue to exist. Um, so yeah, I think it's incredibly harmful to conflate everything that's happened with Shane and Jeffrey uh, simply to interpersonal drama um, because it's much more than that. It is much more than just some friends having drama. That pretty much sums up my thoughts. I think um, I don't really have too much of an opinion on Tati, but I think that Shane and Jeffrey are really just not good people and I think they've made that pretty clear through their both recent and past actions so I honestly I don't know how anyone can continue to support them and I hope that you know well I think that it shouldn't have taken this personal drama element to make people denounce Jeffrey and Shane. I think that a lot of people are starting to realize that these are not people that they necessarily want to support and I hope that it does show a shift in the beauty community and kind of in the YouTube community as a whole. I thought about doing a wing liner. I truthfully don't want to. Maybe we'll do like a shadow liner situation. You know, so I feel like my eye shape has changed and I feel like I have, like it folds differently on this eye now than this eye. So it makes doing, um, I have to do my liner differently. It's been kind of nice getting to do um, some clients makeup again, even though, you know, it's difficult right now. But to kind of get back into it to feel sort of creative again. And I did like a little photo shoot the other day, which I ended up um, hating. <laughs> I hated all the pictures from it. So you will probably never see it. Um, but again, it just felt good to be creative again. I think I fell into a little bit of a slump. Um, when we moved and everything was just, my space was so cluttered and disorganized that I just found it really difficult to, uh, do anything, frankly. <laughs> and it was also my last week of school. And as we started to organize the house a little bit, um, and I also changed medication, um, starting to feel a lot better and kind of getting back into somewhat of a routine. It is weird uh, not having any um, concrete responsibility because like I said, I just graduated school. So I am looking for uh, jobs right now, but I don't um, obviously have anything yet. So it's weird because I have to, well, not have to, but um, it is weird having absolutely no structure. And it's kind of nice, honestly, um, kind of now that I've gotten over this like depressive slump, um, it is nice uh, to be able to kind of have the freedom to do what I wish, but obviously cannot go on forever. Okay, I have a feeling all of that is gonna get cut because I basically said nothing for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> Um, but basically I just did like a nice little tight line and I'm gonna do some mascara. Oh, you know what I tried recently? So they were selling avocado milk at my local grocery store. And I thought, oh, well that'll be good because you know, I've had like avocado smoothies and milkshakes, avocado milkshakes, stuff like that. And those are really good, they are bomb. So I thought, oh, that'll probably be good. Um. No, uh, that was the most disgusting thing that I've ever tasted. I tried putting it 
in a smoothie um, ruined the smoothie. Absolutely disgusting. It has this aftertaste of like dirt. I, I can't explain it. I don't know how anybody thought that that was a good idea. Or, you know, not so much the idea, because again, I could see the idea, uh, more how the product specifically was able to get onto the market, uh, because it's frankly disgusting. And I, I can't think of any, any use for it. Avocado milk in like a bottle, you might have seen it, not worth it. Absolutely not. Disgusting. Avocado milkshakes, like if you go to like a boba shop or something like that, sometimes they'll have avocado milkshakes. Delicious. Fantastic. Avocado milk in a bottle. Disgusting. Worth th worst thing I've ever tasted. Um, and I was looking up and it looks like they like, the founders like did it on accident and I was like, hmm, that makes sense. That checks out. Um, I think there might be a way to make it good, but uh, they did not succeed. They did not succeed in that. So, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. So I know this mascara, the Charlotte Tilbury mascara, is quite beautiful. I have been using it quite a lot. You just need like one light coat. It's just, oh, it's so nice. Like I don't even want to put on falsies. I think I'm still going to. Do I want to put on falsies? Because honestly, it looks nice without. But yeah, you know, falsies just add something to any look. Like, I like no falsies looks, um, but if you really want to look like a bad bitch, I mean, it's just, they just add something, something else, okay? I have not worn falsies in a hot minute. Truthfully, I have barely worn makeup in a hot minute. Um, I think I've done eyeshadow, like, once in the past month. Um, so, yeah, this, this feels good again. I mean, on myself. I've done eyeshadow on other people, but on myself, it's been a hot minute. I've been using this little, um, this little hourglass pencil, and I actually quite like it. You guys know I've been stuck on the pen for a while, but I have been liking a somewhat more structured brow these days. Like, like still fluffy, but just a little bit more structure <laughs> to it, and I think this pencil really um, does it. I like the shape of it, and I, I also think it's a pretty good color. I do have like somewhat of an eyebrow slit now. Basically, I, I've had a gap in my eyebrow for like for like a while. Like I have a scar there, so there's a, a place where like hair just doesn't grow. So I haven't, I didn't really like shave a slit. I basically just kind of trimmed the hair so it didn't comb over as much. And I don't hate it, but I do still fill it in sometimes like really just depends on the day. But really what I've been doing since I haven't really been wearing makeup is just like throwing on some tinted brow gel and calling it a day. So it, you know, just depends on the day. I'm in a fortress at the motel on the street light in the city of love. Call me what you want, what you want, what you want. You can call me things if you call me you. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I mean, I do. I don't know why it's in my head. But my left brow is just so much better than my right brow in every single way. So it's frustrating, truly, when you have one brow that is just superior in every way because then getting them even is a nightmare. Okay, I think I am gonna go in with the pen. Although it's just been showing up kind of warm on me and I, it's always not been a great color, but I don't know if it's just cause I changed my hair color or what. I've been thinking about doing some different types of content like potentially baking videos and things of that nature. So let me know what you guys think.
that would be interesting to you. I'm gonna do a little bit of this milk makeup thing. Brow gel, that's what it is, tinted brow gel. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the face. I think that I'm gonna prime today. I never prime, but I'm gonna do it today. Oh God, if there's any left, should be. Okay, this is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer. It's my fave. It's like one of the few primers that I find actually like makes a noticeable difference for me in terms of longevity and just like the way that my skin looks. What should I do? I've really been loving the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've pretty much been wearing this nonstop, but it's pretty low coverage and I might want something a little bit higher coverage today. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with the NYX Born to Glow foundation. This is a really good, pretty like medium to full coverage, natural finish foundation. I think I have, yeah, I have a whole video on that. Um, it's a little bit old, well, I guess it's not that old, but um, yeah, it's a really nice foundation if you're wanting a little more coverage. I have not used it in a long time though. Oh my god, this is so much more coverage than the Luminous Silk. It's interesting how like used to different things we get. Like if you're somebody that is like really used to full coverage, putting on a light coverage foundation like seems like nothing. Whereas like the opposite is also true. If you're used to really light, cover light coverage, putting on Something more full or even medium coverage just feels like a lot, <laughs> you know? But this is nice. I don't think this is too much coverage. But it does look not as like skin-like as the Luminous Silk. Yeah, and that's what I like about this foundation is that it's pretty adjustable too. You can definitely build this up to be like a full coverage situation, but it'll also just like, you can blend it out into like a medium coverage. Or you could probably share this out with a moisturizer too if you want a lighter coverage. And it's pretty cheap too, I think it's only like 10 bucks. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna use this little LA Girl Pro Corrector. I've been finding it really nice under the eyes to kind of get rid of some of these dark, dark circles. Oh my God, I have always had like very very dark circles uh like from the time i was a child pretty much i think it's just genetic my brother has them too it's so weird to me that things are like opening back up again too um like i understand it has to happen at some point but it's just it feels it feels too soon and i think that you know we're seeing that reflected in the number of cases that are going up and everything like that. You know, I, I think that we have learned a lot about the virus and particularly it seems, and obviously I'm not a health professional, please don't take my word for it, but it seems that masks are pretty effective at preventing the spread. So make sure you're wearing your masks, kids. We've still been staying like home pretty much like I said, I've taken a couple clients here and there, and um, we have been going to a few uh, like protests and vigils and stuff like that, but um, I found that pretty much everyone there has been wearing a mask, um, which is good, and we're wearing a mask anytime like we go to the store or anything like that. I haven't like gone out to any restaurants or, or things like that. I, I still like, am very much put off by the idea of going and sitting down at a restaurant. At this time, I know a lot of people are kind of anxious to get back to doing those things, but I don't know, I just feel like, like it, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. And, and I think, you know, part of that's because I am kind of an introvert anyway, and I have no problem staying home. I've been doing a lot more cooking at home, I feel like over the course of this quarantine, I have become a much better chef than I was before. Um, also doing a lot of cooking and baking at home. So I know a lot of people are kind of in that boat. So let me know what have some of the favorite things that you've made over the course of this quarantine. 
I made these uh, shrimp tacos the other night that were bomb. They were they were pretty dang good. And like I said, I've been doing a lot of baking. I learned so many recipes. My favorite has been lemon bars. Ooh, maybe I'll make some lemon bars today. Okay, I don't know how long I haven't been recording for. I just dumped this on the carpet. Um, it's cool. I had to vacuum today anyway. It's 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 fine. Annie Hoozle. This is the Beauty Bakery So Icy Illuminator, which I'm going to put on my face and not on the floor this time. The color is a little bit dark for me and it's also like, I don't know, it's a little bit chunky looking. I don't think it looks bad, it's just a little, it's not my fave. I've been using mostly cream highlight anyway too, so that could be it, but yeah, I think I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a different highlighter. Hold, please. Okay, I'm gonna pull out another old favorite, the Pixie Times Aspie Novard highlighter. There are all my pores. Wow, it's been a while since I've done like a intense, intense highlight, but I kind of, kind of like it. I'm going to use my little Bare Minerals blush, which I haven't used in a while either. Just pulling out a lot of like random stuff. I guess this is kind of a shot my stash, but these are the bounce and blur ones, so you're just supposed to kind of stick your your finger in there and then tap it on like that. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I think I'm going to go over top with my beauty blender here in just a second, but I'm going to grab a little bit for the other side. Sort of like similar to the ColourPop ones where it's like a kind of like a powder cream hybrid type of deal, but you do have to blend these somewhat aggressively. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this over the nose, just like a little bit. I really like that like kind of somewhat over blushed sunburned look. I just, what can I say man, I dig it. For lips, I'm gonna do a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat lip liner and pillow talk and then over top. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Diamond Milk. They're still like top tier glosses. All right, I think that's it. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of this Farsali Rose Gold Mist. Like I said before, this is not my favorite, but it gets the job done and I have it, so I'm gonna use it up. Oh God, it smells gross though. I do not like the way that it smells. All right, um, I think that is where we are going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me do this makeup and ramble a little bit about everything. Um, it felt good to kind of get back into makeup and play around with it and have some fun with it. Um, so thank you for joining me on this experience. So again, please check out the links below for ways that you can be supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and also the list of anti-racism resources to become a little bit more educated. I know that um, while I thought I had a grasp on um, a lot of the historical things that have happened in this country, um, I have definitely learned a lot, uh, particularly about um, mass incarceration and police brutality in this country. So I highly recommend you check out those resources and continue to support the movement. And uh, yeah, that is all. Um, I will see you all again soon. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you are feeling good and um, I will see you all again soon. Okay, bye!